Look at all those people. Australia's here. Florida's here. Sweden's here. Wichita's here. <laughs> Very good. And Kansas City's here. Walk up, walk up. If you don't know what Fun University is, you are here and we are going to be doing some card making and talking about paper crafting. So if you've never been here, sit back and relax. Christina is going or is going to see Buell tomorrow. That's so exciting. Hello, Stella Lachette. <laughs> do you say Lachette? Do you say the T? I don't know French. Hello, Ashley. How are you? Hi, Brenda. We'll start here in just a second. We're going to talk about postcards tonight. <laughs> I love postcards. I do. I always have, and I shall. And apparently. It may be run in my family because I have a lot of family postcards, which are actually very, very cool. Very, very cool. Like one penny postage. So, yep, yep, yep. All right, we had uh, workmen out in the yard today. Very exciting pro cement project. It's really great. Oh man, this makes my my life here at Fun University. They made it look really easy. There's nothing hard here. Hello, Roberta. Roberta, you asked. I saw later. It said, "Why do I call you Berta?" Because we have another Roberta, and she calls herself Robert, and she calls herself Berta. Roberta Sadler, I think, is her name, and that's why I call you Berta sometimes because I lose my mind. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Judy. Keep an eye on those girls. They're in the back row. Cousin trouble. So, all right. Well, very good. <sighs> Hope you've had a good day. It's cool here for, for a while. 81. Man, it felt good. Felt good. So, does anybody send postcards? Does anybody make postcards? I don't even know if they work in the mail, but I think they would. Oh, I sit on my screen porch a lot, 5K. Every morning, every evening. It is very, very good. It is where I can re, I de deconstruct, de, Stress? D. I didn't want to say decompose. That sounds like I'm getting rot. You love postcards, Rachel? I do too. Never made a postcard? I now remember you used to have, they used to be everywhere in um, all sorts of those little roundy round things. You have made postcards, but not in a long time, Smurf. No one no. <laughs> I collected postcards too, Christina. I love them. You don't make them or send them. Well, we're not going to just make them. As the month goes through, we're going to do some things with the concept. But tonight, we're just going to talk some basic three and a half by five inch postcards. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to do my min intro. Min intro. That's uh, one word, my intro. And I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Mary Gunn. Welcome to Fun University. Hello, oh, Mary Gunn, Mary Gunn, fun founder and head professor of Fun University. Welcome to the first Cards Plus Lab of September 2021, where we are going to play with postcards for a month, all three weeks. Uh, we do meet here on Thursday evening, 6.30 Central Time, for the first three Thursdays of the month. And uh, Tuesdays, for the first three Tuesdays of the month, we have study hall, which is just like whatever I want to do. And then um, we have Craft Roulette on another channel on Fridays at 6.30, where I met most of these lovely people that I see in the chat. Woohoo! If you don't know about that, make sure you check it out. CraftRoulette.com. Oh, no, no, that's not it. CraftRoulette.life. All right. So we're going to talk about postcards because we're paper crafters and postcards are Cool. So let me show you around my studio's postcard thing. Here we go. Thanks for being here. 
All right, so this is oh, scrapbook. No, we're not going to scrapbook. We're going to, I'm going to show you some of these old postcards because they're so cool. <laughs> they're like from the 40s. And uh, apparently my family used, my uncles used to send my grandmother postcards all the time. And so these are remarkably old, uh, 1940 kind of thing. I have them in pocket pages so that I can see the back. Um, my uncles were were uh, flyboys in the Air Force, and so it's kind of cool to see what he, uh, this was made in Canada, I'll be darn. But it was sent in 1941, it says right there on the postage thing, and it was a two cent postage stamp. So I have them so I can read the back side, which is just, it just talks, I mean, they don't really say that much, but it's just that they were connecting and connecting with uh, my uncles and my grandparents. It's really cool. Um, I love the look of these these postcards, the, the antiqueness of it all. We just, I was just in Manhattan, and they have lots of limestone buildings. Here, here's a plane I was... I didn't realize I, that I had so many plane, that I had a couple plane ones, but since they did fly, I went, I'm going to go back and look at what they wrote. Here we see some bathing beauties, but aren't these cool? And I think next week we'll do something with some making some kind of antique looking, looking um, postcards. But tonight we're just going to talk about what all this entails. This is like a one cent stamp, my lands. Look at that, one cent stamp. There's another one, one cent stamp. And this is one of the reasons that I thought of doing this. Look at this cute little guy. First night in the country, <laughs> taking the little one out to the outhouse. That's very sweet. Um, but uh, one of the reasons I thought of making postcards uh, there's a three cent stamp. That's cool. Um, is the cost of postage has gone up again, and that always makes me get no. Oh my gosh, my cards aren't worth worth a that much postage, but they are, and uh, it's just so fun. And I have more too. But these were the like the real classic ones. I sent some to. I think I sent the ones from my some of my uncles to their kids, but I don't know. Maybe I just thought about it and didn't do it. But I keep them just put away because I think they're pretty precious and they're they're very family they tell a big family story in a way that a scrapbook would sort of do too so these are just some picture postcards is what they called them and I did do some reading about postcards we've got Bob Hope's home in California now that's a good one we've got some bridge in Venezuela Oh my gosh, from um, Doug's dad. I didn't think I recognized that. Here we have Frank Sinatra's home in Rancho Mirage, California. And we've got the Kira Beach Gold Coast. Now you might know about something about that. It's Australia. How about that? Oh, we got our little, we got something from Australia, Karen. That's cool. And Palm Springs, California as well. So these are three and a half by five, I think. Nope, these are four. Some of these are three. This one's three and a half by five. These, yes. And these are four by six. So they're the size of a standard photo. I don't think a standard photo will go through the mail, but we'll talk more about that. Oh, by the way, look at this. Yes, Kansas has a lot of limestone. Um, these were from my last scrapbook game. And these were just pieces of, they're <laughs> pieces of photo that we cut off, I cut off for my layouts. So, and I just put it on some copy paper. And I think it would make some kind of a, like cutting it into strips and different things. It might make some cool little borders. Anyway, that's, that's that. Photos, yeah. Um, oh, okay. You know about this place. You know about this place that I got this one. It does look very pretty. Mercy goodness. Okay, so four by six, three and a half by five. That's what we're gonna work on tonight. Three and a half by five, which if you think about it is almost an A-size card. <laughs> and we learned 
with your favorite card size that most people like a a two size card so it's just a little bit longer than it is tall or wide and then you have just a little extra um, on the sides so if you were thinking about making a postcard that's three and a half by five you can just think of it as a slightly different a2 size card just a little bit different but not much so it's really not going to be too too terribly um, difficult to make why would you want to make a postcard instead of a, a, a regular a2 size card well i think i i think i can tell you a few things about it well one thing is money and uh jamie says it's 36 cents now but it just went up to 40 cents a postcard right now but our stamps are 58 cents so it's 18 cents cheaper to send a postcard if you think uh of the size here five by three and a half you can make out of a 12 inch piece of paper you can make six 12 by 12 and out of if you're clever out of a regular uh card mm, letter size piece of cardstock you can make three or two or three depending on what you do with them but um so you can do some fun things with it so you, here's another thing about this uh it, it just feels like you don't have to be so perfect and they need to be one layer so it really takes out a lot of the fancy stuff that you may be trapped into thinking you have to make to send a correspondence because you don't um, and it's just kind of another challenge to make something a little different um, just the flat thing you got to think of also that you don't want copics because they're going to bleed through you don't want um, watercolor that makes it all wavy you could do it a little bit drier watercolor that would be okay in sweden a postcard costs the same as a six by six card isn't that something and um so you can think of different you could just draw on it you could you can do a little bit of a mat around it you don't have to have it from stem to or from edge to edge or edge to edge you can do a little mat around it and just do some brushing you can do some uh, dry watercolors. You can do some gouache watercolors or gouache colors paint. What am I trying to say? Gouache painting. You can do, you could do a whole page of eight and a half by 11 with gouache paint and then just cut it down so that you have, you have your postcards or an, a 12 by 12. You do want, I think, I think this is true. You do want a little thicker post post or uh, card stock. Some of mine that I keep around is pretty thin. But if you were going, if you knew you were going to make a bunch, you would want to go ahead and make sure. And you know that pound thing doesn't always work for me. I don't know. It just doesn't work. Um, sometimes I can get 110 pound and it's heavy. Sometimes I can get 110 pound and it's not. So I don't know. But if you get if you find a card stock that has a little bit of heft and uh, you like it for postcards you might want to just jot down a note about what that was um what else did I, there's also a thickness issue with postcards and I, there's no way i can i can figure this out but a thickness issue it, there can only a four and a half by six inch postcard has to be 0 0.007 of an inch wide or thick so that's not much it so does this count i don't know but you wouldn't want anything too flimsy so there are also big ones now there's six by nine but you have to have they have to be metered in the united states uh they can't be stamped and but man six by nine that's like a that's huge and it's the same price as a uh, one of these little suckers but they have to be metered and they have to be a business. So that's kind of a bummer. But so let's just wrap our head around a couple things about a postcard. Three, it's cheap to send. Everybody's going to be able to read whatever you see, whatever you write on it. So you got to think about that. And, um, but it's, it feels like you just, it's not as a much of an investment as a card because a card you, end up with an inside and an outside uh, you've got an envelope people decorate their envelopes beautifully 
Um, this is just so easy. And I, I think it would be fun to, just to draw some things on it and just kind of have fun doing it. It's kind of like the uh, artist trading cards. Just a little something, except not so fat as those get. But just a little something, a little special something. Um, as far as sending in the mail, I bet, now this is my guess, uh, on the side that has all the pretty stuff, I would probably suggest some kind of fixative um, or wax. I even read about you can put a candle, rub a candle on it, and that wax will, will coat that. Mod Podge, uh, maybe there's some clear, there's some gel mat that would work. Anything that's going to make it so that it's waterproof. And that would also make it feel, I think, it would also make it feel a little bit of, um, a little bit stiffer. So, oh, that's a good idea, Brenda, to put postcards in place where you've gone to help you scrapbook. I've done that too. It's, it does help. Now I just download it from the internet mostly, but, but postcards were great for that too. And I remember one time, did I want to do it? Did I do it? I don't know. But it was like sending a postcard home. So from your day's activities so you can write a postcard to yourself about your day's activity kind of like a little bit of a journal and then when you get home it's all right there and you've already done your journaling for your uh, for your scrapbooking isn't that something okay so let's think about what we can do it white you can use white that's really good it's easy it's available you could use color as long as it's thick enough or you could also use just some papers. This is this is pattern cardstock, and it's quite hefty. So this was at, this would actually work. It doesn't look like much right now. So what something that I thought might work kind of well on something like this is put a little uh, gesso on the pattern, and then have a nice big stamp that's going to be nice and bold. But let's see how it turns out. May or may not work. Because I just thought these rings were way too much. So. So I wanted to tone it down a little bit. But I don't want to mess it up. So I went ahead and put it in the stamp positioner. Because look at that. That's awful. But for 40 cents, this is not so bad, huh? You can get something pretty cool in the mail. It's this top one that doesn't want to behave, so let's tell it who's boss. Yep, it's still going to be a bit of a turkey. Let's try a different ink, just for that little spot. I don't know why I don't have the best of luck with these things. Maybe I should put something underneath it. But, you know, we're on, one more try and then we're setting it aside. You can always write it in pen, too. It does look kind of good. It does look kind of good. I, I worked my abs on that one. Come on. I wonder if you can do this thing with it. No, it doesn't slide enough. Okay. But it does give you some pressure. Nope, not quite. Okay. Well, you get the idea. Correct? Correct. So if you have something, some pretty paper, maybe you'll never use this paper on a card. Maybe you'd never use this paper in a scrapbook. But it's thick enough, and you could do, and you could knock out some cards pretty fast. Or you could also knock them out as card fronts pretty fast. But... That would work real well. I'm just going to set that off to the side. You can do some fun things with it. <laughs> of course, my, look how uh, crooked I got this, too. Does that bother me? No, not for 40 cents. But uh, this was just a three and a half by, I think it's three and a half. Nope, this one's a four by six. I got a little bit big on this one. And this was just using letters because I saw some that were 
on the internet that were postcards. Oh, you know, you can buy a, move my magnet, I will. I, yeah, thank you, Roberta, I should. I thought that might be the hang up. I think you're right. Um, Hallmark makes postcards. I had no idea. And you can buy, are you ready for this? <laughs> I guess how much a postcard, well, I don't wanna guess. A postcard at Hallmark, you can buy one for, I think I read $3 which absolutely slayed me. So a little simple postcard for $3 from Hallmark or just another way for you to have a little expression here. I, I like the idea of just making little expressions and sending them off. I think it's great fun. Plus, if you were a postal worker, wouldn't you like this? Wouldn't you like to be able to to read somebody else's mail? You could put a little note to the postal worker too that says, hey, have a good day, Mr. Postal Worker. Or you can just make some little cute pictures like this. Now this one I used, I did use ink for the background colors, but I used pencil, not watercolor pencil, but just regular pencil for the design. And I thought that worked, pro and even has kind of a waxy feel to it. You're okay, Grandma Gay, we're just glad you're here. It does have a little bit of a waxy feel to it. Another, you know, another thing I thought about was if you had, if you wanted to make this more waterproof, you could, let's just try something here. It, it's gonna, uh, it would work, I think. Just take some Versamark and cover this guy up with Versamark and then do a clear coat on it. That seems like a lot of, use a, a good use of your uh, clear embossing stuff but you know I, it would definitely make it work you wouldn't want to do it on the back because of the postmark and things i think that's my theory and these the embossing powder goes forever so it's good to use it and it gets dirty too this would, this would, uh, we'll try some water on it afterwards. And see if it's a little water repellent. Because that's my only really con big concern with this. Is, yeah, that's going to be fine. It's, uh, that it would get wet and the ink would run and make a mess, terrible mess of things. Okie doke, here's my embossing thing. My embossing tool. My heat tool. <laughs> I'm just stick it under there while it warms up. And then once it starts to melt, I know it's hot. The theory of having the aluminum foil is that it will reflect the heat. There it goes. And perhaps make it go a little faster and not warp. I think this, plus this would make it very shiny, almost glossy. So I think that's, I, I'm glad I remembered that I thought of this. Yeah, it would make it look like a photo, except he's not really very photo, photo-esque. It's fun. And that, like I said, embossing powder goes forever. That one doesn't cover all the way. This is darn cute. There we go. Shall we make this one tonight? Yeah. Look at there. Oh, now it looks even better than ever. Look how pretty it is. All right, let's see what it does with a little bit of moisture. It beads right up. I feel like I'm doing a, some kind of commercial. Beads right up so that you won't have to worry. So if, yep, I missed some, but I can go back and do it some more. Very nice. Yep, I did miss some. 
all right so there's something you can do you can cover i love that you can cover it with embossing powder clear embossing powder it does look turned out kind of cute doesn't it embossing powder would make it thicker and maybe not too thick exactly brenda that's what i'm thinking and it would just give it a little more body so that it might not bend as much i think it would work really well so all right all right well <laughs> that's that's cuter than this this was just a test a test of the emergency broadcasting system and then another thing is sometimes they they'll do a little bit of a texture on the edge so if you have a something that you can pull up against you can get a textured edge uh, another really fun thing is just the masking around the edge so that you have a little bit of a frame around it i would probably you know this is kind of warped a little bit maybe just set it under something for a night and you would be good can you through the mail this is the thousand dollar question roberta i am going to take this to the post office tomorrow and mail it to myself and so i will see if it goes through and if it i will ask my post my post ladies because they're really good and i think they will help me too but i think that i don't know I, you know here i i'm i've been doing all this all day I, this is this is not this is a, has a little body. This was not as not as strong. It's not, but it's not bad. So I'm I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Another thing that you can do that was uh, kind of if that all works, if I may just need something a little bit heavier. Is I went to my went to my computer and drew just. A big inserted a tablet or a table of one one cell then went ahead and just wrote postcard at the top and put my own address on there because <laughs> I thought well you know if I had somebody that was out of town and I wanted to help them send me stuff you could do something like this package them up and then put some stamps on it and then they could just mail it right to you or to whomever I'm th I was thinking I don't have anybody like this right now but I was thinking about college students. Moms could just make their own little college student packets here and then just send them, send them on with them and then they won't have to do anything much to send a card, a postcard. They don't even have to write much, which I thought was maybe a good thing too. Um, I did, I was trying, I'm so bad at numbers and, th and measuring and things, but I was doing one of these kind of deals. And so I got it all out. It was 17 spaces using 1.15 spaces. And I thought it was just a little big. You wouldn't, it's a little bit short and the same height. So I didn't spend any more time on it too much. But if you wanted to leave a little space around it, you could figure out a three and a half by five on template on your computer and just do postcard postcard and then your address or whomever's address and then you would have it just right there to do and then go ahead and print it on some cardstock oh nice this is a great great way to send little holiday greetings to my nieces and nephews neph and fast enough that you might actually get it done right right um so then you could just print it right here on some cardstock and then you flip it over and you do the pretty on this side so and you can do anything as long as you don't have the stuff that's going to get messed up in with water or something along those lines so let's trim these guys off and make something on the front. Five and a half is about right there. It's okay if they're not exactly perfect, I think. You received a postcard that had fabric sewn to the cardstock. Whoa! That's interesting. Three and a half is right here. So there's my little guy that's three and a half and see how it's all 
I think that's just the slickest little thing. And there are postcards. You can get stamps that look like postcards. And we'll be doing more artsy stuff with it later on this month. But right now we're just kind of experimenting. I think if it's three and a half by five, it's supposed to go through the machinery. So that's a good thing. So are we good now? Yep, perfect, perfect. And so there's my back. So I'm just flip that over. This was being set up to do like some painting on and then we'll just cut it. I was thinking that was a good idea, but I don't think it is at this point. But I think I would just rather just paint the whole thing and not have, well, yeah, I wanted the little, the little edges. So we'll see if we get back to that one or not. Okie doke. You want to see, you want to, what do, shall we make? What shall we make? Shall we do this guy? We can do something like him. He's cute. All right. Let's do this guy. We'll get some masking tape. So we got the edges. And we're going to go ahead and make it even less tacky. And line this up so we can get it somewhat straight, maybe. And stand over it, see if that works. There we go. You can do this on your pants or whatever too. Yeah, you could sew on this. So wouldn't that be cool? My poor sewing machine. I go in my closet sometimes. I think I hear it crying. It's been so absolutely ignored. This just takes the, makes it a little less sticky. You could do anything pretty on here too, but I, I think, I think it's cute. Okay. I think I will just use this, well, use a scrap of paper here. We'll just tape him down. See if this works. Line it up, make it easy on myself. Silly woman. Mm, th this was not uh, this was not like a big deal on my my numbers or anything. This is basically so we're gonna do a little swinking. There we go. Swink up, swink down. Then I think I have. Yep, I still have this out. And go ahead and throw some leaves. This is just a different color, a different kind of ink, and a little bit darker. That works. And then the top we will put in red. Should we do? Should we do red? Let's do blue. Should we do blue? Ah, I want to stay with the little guys. Okay, we'll do red. I want to stay with my little ink cubes because it works so much better. Swing up. Swing down. Swing all the way around the town. That was my own little poem. <laughs> Black, where'd you go, darling? Where'd you go? You hiding? Yep. There we go. And then I just went ahead and draw, drew the little lines in there. It doesn't look like much yet, does it?
that works. And then down here, I just added some veins. There we go. And some dots. Just because it was kind of a filler. And I'll just flip that around. And then over here, we'll just use these lines to make whatever we want. We'll just, uh, let's go ahead and do the, the red on this side. I think I used a darker red. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> 10 print, hello. Oh, you're talking about stuff I don't know about. And that's okay. They're talking code about code. <laughs> code about code. It's a cute little stamp. It's just got a little viney feel to it. I like it. Came in real handy. Always have some old washi tape. Hi, we're under siege. I think I'm going to put that paper right there and then put washi tape over the edge. Nope, that didn't work. That's right. It, I had to use paper on this because the washi tape wasn't sticking to the the uh, ink. That's why we did it that way. I remember now. It was so long ago. Hours ago. Okay, yellow. There it is. So now we're just going, oh, he's not going to want to stick. So we'll just work with him. And do a little halo around here. Since this all has a base, kind of a under color of yellow, it doesn't really matter if we get off, off track a little bit. Because it's all going to end up yellowy anyway. Because I'm going to add yellow to the whole thing, so I don't. You don't want have to worry too much because we have the same undertone. Lots of activity out there tonight in Kansas City. Just a little darker yellowed. Okay. All right, all right, he's moving right along here, Mr. Oh, this I'm gonna be daring. Oh, he's he's such a he's always been a real good stamp, and I don't think he's going to fail me now. I'm not gonna mess with the with the stamp positioner, but I will make sure. that that worked. Yeah, we're good. Should be okay. Okay, little dude. I have stamped this guy more times. He has been my, my go-to little stamp for years and years and years. <gasps> Happy birthday, Mr. Murphy. <laughs> Grandma Gay, I wouldn't be able to tell you a thing. You're doing better than I am. There we go. He has been my go-to guy for a long time. Okay, now we'll go ahead and add some, another color of yellow.
to fill in all the blanks. That's getting muddy. Tisk tisk. Might change my yellow. Forget that that brush. It's too slow. Oh, cut my bird off. That's okay. He's pretty. He's kind of easy to not notice anyway. Look, you won't even notice him. Now, if you are going to use that tape again, make sure you wipe it off because uh, otherwise, the the ink that you have on there, <coughs> pardon me, will just go right on to your next project. It won't care a bit. It won't care at all if you get mad and go, oh no, why did it do that? Because that's how masking tape is. It is a great stamp. It's ancient too. I can't even remember the last time when I bought it. Okie doke. So getting out my 97 cent box of paper or pencils here. Going big, 97 cents on sale at Staples. Gotta love it. And grab this darker red. Just give it a little bit of subtle beauty. <laughs> Not like Dolly Parton, but just subtle beauty. And this one's okay. I guess I can add a little bit of color, but it doesn't worry. Doesn't matter. Then I think I did put some yellow or some red on his, on him. And I'm not going to worry about being real precise. Not uh oh. He's a scarecrow. He's not like. He's not a piece that's supposed to be absolutely pristine and perfect. Not in my book. He's a scarecrow. Make him have a blue, a green shirt though. I think he looks good in green. Another reason to use green on this is because it's got that yellow undertone. If we switched over to a purple, you might end up with a muddy mess or something along those lines. But we've got that yellow going on, so we want to make sure that we have colors that we're going to use on our pencils that work really well with that undertone. Could use blue, it might turn into green. But I just thought I'd go green in the, go green. I kind of like him a little sloppy. He's got his arms up over, <laughs> so like a, can you see it? It's like a, the cross piece of a, a steak. It's kind of gross, kind of gruesome. Kind of gruesome. Okay, we got some leavies. Okay, I don't like just plain, uh, it, those look like spring leaves to me in the, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of dark. Then it will look more fallish. Don't want to mix my grass and leaves with hay. Oh, heavens no. So I'll just add a little bit of dark where there are lines, because that's kind of telling me where the fabric is a little bent up. I don't have to think too hard that way. Follow the folds, follow the folds. Okay. And then for his paint, his little britches, I just paint them brown. Because I didn't want to bring blue in. Blue is great though, and with this color palette, a bright, a bright, uh, Blue green is a beautiful color with this, and you see that a lot in fall. The orange, blue, green, purple, blue, brown, 
green. It's very popular, very fallish. And our fall season really doesn't last very long because it gets bumped, bumped by Christmas, which is okay. So I forgot green right there. I'm going to make his straw hat. He would, this would work for a woven hat, wouldn't it? From Friday night's parameters. Aren't those cute? And then the darker brown, just follow the, don't overthink it. Look for, look for places that have folds. Bunches up, edges. You can go pretty fast on something like this. Inside seam is going to be a little darker. And even his little belt, I'm going to make his belt a little darker. Okay, whoopsie. Woo! There we go. Go ahead and add some brown for these beautiful, not sunflowers. I don't what, know what they're called when they're not going to be sunflowers. They're going to be red. Painted, painted something. Oh my gosh. I found a whole bunch of hornworms today on a plant. It wasn't on my tomatoes. They're resting in peace, I'm sure, at this point. But, oh, they were so, oh, they're so, mm. Of course, I would take... My, my got my garden scissors and just cut the thing off where they were and just picked it up with my garden scissors and put it on the on the cement and I thought maybe the birds would come eat it but Mr. Gunn disposed of them. They're too they're just too much. I don't I don't mind sharing things but not my tomatoes. Well, I do share my tomatoes. I just don't want to share them with those guys. <laughs> so, no. Out, 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 out. How about a little straw? You know, there's a difference between straw and hay. You feed a horse straw, they can get sick. They eat hay. Okay, go ahead. Get that after all. Okay, so that's basic. Oh, oh, one more thing. We got to finish the wood here, or he's going to fall down. Both the raven, yeah, a, li a little bit. We'll let him. Sit there. Everybody's got to know what he is at least. Oh, I got out of the line. Oh, shame on me. You know, I've got, I wonder if this would work. This is my new favorite eraser. Dang it. It does kind of take it off. Good. I'll go down into it a little bit. It did. Okay. This is a Statler Mars plastic. I absolutely really do like it. It, uh, I got it at Staples. It's made in Germany. You could go over from Sweden and pick it up. But I think it, had, it was three of them, I think, and it wasn't very expensive. But it's a soft eraser, and it really does a good job. So Statler, or Stietler, because in German you pronounce the second vowel, I think, is a long vowel. Stiet, Stietler, Stietler, Mars Plastic. <laughs> And then I did go ahead and make you, this would be something you don't have to do, but you could do. I went ahead and did outline it. I thought it looked a little more finished that way. And I'm not going to worry about being real straight or I'd gotten a straight edge. Remember to move your hand and arm instead of getting all contorted. It doesn't work as well. He does look a bit like the Aussie guy, doesn't he? Definitely. 
Anybody else want to whistle? Yeah, he's a good guy. There we go. There we go. Pretty good. Oh, I know what the other thing is. I did darken his eyes. Just a little bit because we put all that ink on top of it and it does pile up and does make the color a little bit muted. And the other thing you can do, he does have a little highlight in his eye. So we'll help him out. Just help him along. Oh, that didn't help so much, but that's okay. He's okay. You could, what else could you do? I don't know. I did do the corners, but I think I would do go ahead and try this again. And just like we did at the beginning of the session. And then on the back, looky there, it's addressed to me. <laughs> I like this. And then postcard, and then you just write over here. You can go ahead and, you know, you could do several things on this too. There's nothing, gosh, you know, there's never a, there is never a limit on these kind of things. You can go ahead and probably put a little color back here. Just little, just little. So they know which which side to look at. And you can clean your brush. Two birds, one stone right there. And you can't really see it, but it's just got a little bit of a haze going on there. Yep. <laughs> and then I've just got, I think that's great fun, I tell you. So this one was bigger. Yep, yep, it was. So this one's the three and a half. Yep, three and a half by five. This one's four by six. Which one do you like? This one's going to be shiny. And then this one has just a little bit missing. But you can see it real easily when, when you've got everything all shiny. There are some missing, there are some, there are some. Very good, very good. So that's some things you can do for funs and funs. And then, oh yeah, we'll do this next week, I guess. Do some painting and then we'll just cut it up into some, we'll cut it up. And I, you know, if I did four by six, I could do the math better. It's those three and a half by fives. It gets a little more confusing because I get confused after one. So if I do this, I can do, I can do this. I might go ahead and do this, um, get it ready so we can see if we want to do it next week. Because we may not. It may be stupid. We don't want to be stupid. We are not that university. Stupid university <laughs> is not where we are. But yep, hope you picked up a few ideas here and um, some things that will make it work for you. I can go ahead and let's move this silly thing right now so that we know that it's that we are going to have this done. Maybe. Right, Roberta? Yes. We'll do the Roberta thing here. See if it works. Almost. Almost, we're almost there. This again, you might want to do a fixative on it. I wouldn't scrape the Versa mark over it. I think I would just pat it because uh, if you scrape it, you might pull some, pull some black along and make yourself a pretty good mess. That's gonna work. So that's just another way to do it, but it doesn't have the cool stuff on the back. So. We gotta be the cool kids with the cool stuff on the back. But if you did have somebody, <clears throat> say somebody that's recovering from a illness, a hip replacement or something like that, and you wanted just to give them a little something, you didn't want to do the whole card thing, um, just a little postcard that you make would be really fun, I think, or something, something to just keep it set, being able to send lots and lots of stuff. I think it's just, it's bulk. <laughs> We're bulk here. Bulk it up. Mm -mm -mm. But, oh good, I'm glad you liked it. I'm. It's kind of a funny thing to think about, but postcards. 
And thanks for looking at my family's folks cards with us. Uh, it's a nice little heritage. Yep. And my mom used to go, I thought my, I thought I had to send postcards to your, my in-laws. Do want to thank our patrons. We do have, we do have a special poll in our patron group for a Labor Day event for everybody. We also have the vetoes that need to be vetoed by tomorrow afternoon. The parameters for Craft Roulette have been updated for fall, for September, so you might want to check those out. What else? And the Crafter Math is up from last week's episode on our Patreon. So, um, thank you so much for being here tonight. It's always a pleasure to spend an evening with you. And if you're on the back seat in Sweden or wherever you are, <laughs> we thank you so much. Mm-hmm. We need, I needed that today. Oh my gosh. That, I should have done that like five hours ago. I, I feel much better. And here's one for you. I do appreciate you so much. Love y'all. Take care and stay safe. Take, have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow night. Bye.